Okay then folks, I'm now gonna show you how to render a wireframe of your model. Uh, we're gonna to have to use a, well, I'm gonna use a turntable as well. So here's my model. It's just um, a very basic, oh, let's come back. It's a very basic Thor hammer, okay? It's nothing special. Um, but we wanna render a wireframe like this, okay? Um, so what I wanna do is I'm going to get my model and I'm going to go to animation in here, visualize, create turntable, come to the option box, um, 125 frames because I want it to be five seconds, clockwise rotation is fine, so I'm gonna click apply and then click close. So what we've got now is it says turntable camera at the bottom, so for 125 frames we've got that. And that'll do just a turntable but of the beauty of it, you know, the. Um, I want to say beauty, just, just all the diffuse and specular. What we want to do is we want to actually select the object, whatever object it is, go to assign new material, and then hit Arnold and go to AI wireframe, okay? Um, now let's do a quick render. So I'm gonna render, render the turntable camera one, and there you go, we got our wireframe. However, it's currently doing tries, okay? So we want to change the edge type from triangles to polygons, and give it another render. And there you go, you can, you can change the fill color to gray if you want a little bit of a Lambert. And there you go. So that is now, let's click it again, that, that's your basic wireframe. Okay, you can change the width if you want to go to 1.2 and give it another render. Depends how, how close your actual, um, your actual lines are, but look, that looks fine. Um, so then, now what we wanna do is we wanna export this into an image sequence, because as we pull through, you see if we do another render by here, it's rendering this camera, so it'll do a turntable of it, okay? So that's what we'll end up having. Um, it takes one second per frame, which is quite nice. Let's come to the render settings. We wanna, first of all, in the common tab, give it a name, so Thor underscore hammer underscore wireframe um, AME. I'm gonna go PNG is fine. Um, actually, let's just go JP, uh, yeah, let's just go JPEG. Or no, <laughs> tell you what, I'm gonna go PNG. Yeah, fine. Um, I'm gonna go name underscore hashtag, so we'll do multiple frames. I'm gonna go frame one to frame 125, because that's how long it is. And yeah, I think that's all okay. Let's come to the renderer settings. This is currently using three anti-aliasing samples too diffuse and too specular. I haven't got any transmission, I haven't got any subsurface scattering, I haven't got any spec, so I may keep the diffuse there, maybe increase the anti-alias into like five, um, just to see how long now, let's save this version, is it even better quality now? So I'll do another render, um, it may take two seconds, but then we can go between the two and there's really not much of a difference. There is in here where you've got close lines to each other, um, so for the sake of an extra one second, I may end, I may just do it. Okay, so what we wanna do now, you've got all your render settings set up, just come to render, render sequence, go to the option box, and I don't think it's, yeah, that's the camera that we wanna render. So let's go to render sequence, and now it's gonna render one to 125 frames, each one, and it's gonna save them out, and then we can take them into something like After Effects and just play them through as a sequence. So I'll pause this as it renders, and then I'll show you the finished sequence. Okay, so my render's completed, it didn't take long at all. Um, now what I wanna do is, I'm in After Effects, I just wanna import them, import the files quickly, so double click, and they're in this images folder here somewhere, and they start from here. Okay, so click this one, and I'm gonna make sure in PNG sequence is ticked, and just click import. We got two and 125 images, but it's being interpreted as 30 frames per second, which I don't like, so right click, interpret footage, main, just change it to 25, click OK. Drag this image sequence now down to the new composition icon, and Boom, there is our um, rendered wireframe, okay? So that's how you render a wireframe from Maya in Arnold. You just now export this as a video from After Effects and that is your final wireframe turntable. So cheers for tuning in and I'll see you in a future video.